Alrighty, what's going on guys? Welcome back once again to Carex Drifting Online. I'm Solo Bandit and today we have another 180 drift gen for you. Now, I apologize for the lack of content, but I have been in hospital for the past week or so now. Uh, for about the past seven days, uh, I've been in and out of hospital continuously, uh, getting put on just crazy amounts of pain medications and anti-spasm medications and anti-cramp medications. Uh, I'm not going to get into what's been going on. Massive infections in my intestines and stuff like that. It's just been a very, very rough week or so um, with literally no sleep. So, you know, got to take care of the body first, right? So that's what I've been doing. I, I did let you guys know in the community posts, but I am feeling good today. We're on like day seven, day eight now. And I'm actually finally feeling okay. Uh, I'm finally coming off all of the meds, so that's finally out of my system. Feeling really, really good. And it actually gave me some time to reflect on the channel and reflect where I want to go with the channel. So, yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty damn good. I, I was just too busy worrying about some petty bullshit here on YouTube with some other people. And I just thought to myself, you know what, fuck it. You know what, fuck it, who cares. Uh, so I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to post what I want to post and just have fun with it because that's what it's about guys. But before we get into this video, you know, speaking of health and well-being, I want all of you guys to get off your plums right now. Drop down, give me some push-ups, give me some sit-ups, do some sort of physical exercise today. Doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter, right? Anything is good. Go for a five minute walk, go do some chores around the house, be productive for the day before you jump into this game. You'll feel 10 times better, I can guarantee it. It'll boost your, your morale, it'll boost your energy, and it might even make you want to do something else today instead of sitting here playing this game. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. This is going to be a 180 drift tune. I'm going to jump into a lobby real quick, show you guys what this car can do, and then we'll go ahead and jump into all of the goods. So... So we're just going to jump straight into it here. We're not going to muck around and try and warm up so I can look a little bit better for the old YouTube. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys raw and uncut here. Sound a bit nasty, but you know what I mean, right? So I haven't drifted in this game, like I said, for about a week and a bit now. Literally haven't even touched this game. So if there's new updates or anything, I've got no freaking idea because I have been pretty much completely AFK. But uh, as you can see, this car is pretty damn smooth, isn't very jittery, but if you want it to, you can make it a little bit more jittery. So let's go and do our usual and see if it can do a bit of a tricky. Can I pop a trick? Okay, I can't pop a trick. I got a little bit too eager there. It can pop tricks, by the way, but uh, just not today. We might try it again, but uh, let's see if we can focus on getting some smooth lines here. bad now this car can actually pump out a ton of power so the way I have the car set up I have it set up for a more small to medium sized track but you can set it up for these larger tracks right now and it will do absolutely fine but you already know how it is I spend most of my time on the same tracks pretty much like everybody else so what's the point of having a specific tune set up for the larger tracks if the majority of the tracks we play these days is going to be the smaller and medium track. So let's go ahead and see if we can link up this corner here. Nice. Now obviously, if you do have it for a longer setup track, um, it's not going to limit bang like it is right now in fourth. You might be in third gear. So, you know, just keep that in mind. See if we can do a trick again, eh? No, I just cannot pull it off today. Finally seeing some rust on old Solo, eh? That's all good, guys. That is all good. So, as you can see, really, really rusty. Haven't played this game in some time. So, you know, just got to brush the dust off here. But don't worry, over the next few days, we'll be back in action. 
producing our high quality drift videos. But anyways, that's how the car performs really, really well. Not too bad. Now, these are base builds. These are not set in stone style builds where you're going to be like a just absolute savage. These are base builds. So the, they will make you better. There will be tune setups that are better. But in my opinion, I think my base tunes are the best because they have the most options for you to make those small incremental changes, whether if you're a professional at the game or you're a flat out beginner, this is your first time picking up this game, you are going to have an absolute blast with these tune setups, just how they are. So if that's all you're looking for, these are definitely going to be up your alley. But if you're looking for a tune setup that is like full-fledged, hardcore, like insane, absolute weapon, those are pretty few and far between because you've got to spend a lot of time. I do have quite a few of those for you guys, but I'm not going to be showcasing them just yet. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the tune setup for you guys. We're going to start with the the paint like I usually do now. And I'm using this candy purpley paint color. I think it's quite nice and it always goes well with either a wheel which is white or the old typical black insert with a silver lip always goes well with pretty much every single color in the game to be honest over to the mods we are using the ultimate mod for the body kits we are under rnt front lights rnt front bumper rnt for the hood stock for the roof custom bodyworks side mirror rnt roll cage custom performance rear bumper rnt spoiler slide performance tail lights stock paint Exhaust RT. For the rims, we are using these ones under D spec. And now over to the tune setup. Okay, there we go guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tune setup, if you did, let me know how you felt this tune setup down in the comment section below. With that out of the way, I will catch you tomorrow or the day after in another tune setup video. That's going to be it for me, don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video, like the video for the algorithm if you did enjoy it also, and with that out of the way, thanks for watching once again, and I'll catch you in the next one.